Hello friends, it's Jim over here. Welcome back to Jim over here's Wacky World, where we are here at opening night of Halloween for Orlando. And uh, keep watching this channel all through the Halloween season because we're going to have a lot of detailed videos that go uh, and show you more in-depth things happening in the scare zones, as well as some specialty foods and monsters and the haunted houses and things like that. But for this particular video, we are going to just give you an overview and kind of a look at what was happening on opening night at Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. So uh, come on and take a look at the gruesomeness. It's that time of the year again, time for Universal Studios Florida Halloween Horror Nights. And this is opening night of 2024. And look at that crowd waiting to get in. This video is just gonna give you some highlights and, and things going on here on, on opening night continue to watch this channel all through the halloween season as we're going to be bringing you more and more videos that get into detail onto scare zones and haunted houses and specialty foods and things like that but uh ton of stuff going on as usual here at universal studios for halloween horror nights and of course as usual scare zones this year there are Five different scare zones. Here's a, a Bloomhouse scare zone, which has some of your favorite Bloomhouse characters in it that uh, will come and get you like that. <laughs> and uh, it's a variety this year of scare zones. Um, there's no particular intertwining theme that I can tell this year. Um, there's everything from Bloomhouse to Demon Queens to swamp creatures to chainsaw maniacs uh there's a, a a torture fair where there's all kinds of torture going on um it's uh it's just a, a wide variety and mishmash now i will say that the scare zones this year they're a little weak last year was a little weak also the past few years the scare zones have almost kind of seemed like an afterthought. Look at this one, just torturing. They, she, they won't let up. That monster will not let up on those girls. I, I love, I love that where they just stay on them. But uh, like I was saying, the scare zones this year, eh, so so. Um, the past few years, scare zones have seemed like an afterthought and just kind of thrown out there and not very detailed or anything like that. Uh, it's just sort of a I don't know. It's just like, here it is, sort of feeling. Um, and this year is no different. Just, you know, different characters on uh, various props and stages that, um, you know, eh, are not that, that detailed or, or interesting. Now, for all of you people online who were complaining and complaining that Mel's isn't going to be open look mel's is open look right there they're open <laughs> along with a variety of specialty food kiosks like this ghostbusters themed kiosk and uh, they've got a ton of these here this year just like in in past years and they're all themed to match their their haunted house lineup this has a slimer's korean corn dog that we had to try and there's another video that will be coming out on this channel very very soon where we give you a review of that and you can sort of get some more information uh, on that uh, as well as uh, several specialty drinks that they're offering this year and uh, just a ton of little food kiosks with oddball food and drink that uh, that you can only get during Halloween Horror Nights and it's always just something kind of bizarre um, the tribute store again as usual is open this year which uh, this year is themed kind of like a I don't know a, a, a broken down New York subway <laughs> um, it's a mess uh, and a mess in a good way there's a, you know it's always super detailed and fun um, and then uh, amid these wonderful sets is all this merchandise from uh, Halloween Horror Nights with you know the the haunted houses and and uh, on on T-shirts and masks and cups and glasses and things like that. Uh, very cool store. It's a little cramped this year though. It's uh, you know you it's really squeezing people close together, and it ends with this monster. Uh, and uh, of course, haunted houses galore. Um, this year there are ten haunted houses. 
ranging from a quiet place to insidious universal monsters lots of um uh, original haunted houses which are very cool and we'll be looking at more of that stuff in future videos but uh uh and rides some of the rides are open just like that so there you go that's sort of a, a quick little glimpse at opening night of universal studios halloween horror nights 2024 stay tuned for more videos throughout the haunt season right, and there you go that is a look at some of the fun stuff that was happening here at universal orlando for Halloween Horror Nights 2024's opening night. As I said, keep watching this channel. And uh, all through the Halloween season, we're going to be showing you more details about what's going on out here. Details and uh, uh, a lot of footage from some of the scare zones and specialty foods and the haunted houses and things like that. So, if you have liked this video, click that like button to let the power to be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe. And you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.